okay, I'm going to try this again. Make it short. But I, I went into a long explanation about what the morning's been going like. But for your information, welcome to the channel. This is Great Cloudy Day. I am known as Gray Cloud, or you can say Mr. Cloud, Sage of the Eternal Moment. At one time, I was the gift giving scribe, um, but that changed. There's video on that and why it changed and how it changed. Uh, it wasn't a man-made change. It wasn't Gray Cloud thinking upon itself to do this. But anyway, um, if you are new here, thanks for stopping by. Uh, if you've watched any more than this video itself, if you're as if this is the only video you've watched, when if you make it all the way to the end and you like it and it helps you in some way, watch another video or two and think about subscribing. Uh, but if you are watching the video, hit like, please. Hit the like button, whoever you are. Thank you. I'm not trying to be uh, too uh, demanding there. I'm just asking if you can. Uh, so I'm going to do Don't Sweat the Small Stuff, and it's all small stuff. Um, but this morning, if you didn't check, if you didn't see the small video uh, showing the first puppy, Ladybird started having her puppies this morning, and... It's been kind of a long start of getting the day going. Uh, I got had to get up and deal with that earlier this morning. And then I fell back asleep and then uh, had another little mishap uh, where she had moved the babies and back into the spare bedroom where she didn't need to be having them on the thing she was having them on and had another one. And it had died because I was in my bedroom. She was in there. Anyway, I got it all situated. She's back in my bedroom in the closet floor there with the cover on the floor and uh, taking care of the babies that are still alive. And I, I'm not sure if she's done yet. I think she probably might have another puppy or two. I don't know. I hope not. But uh, if it is, there we'll deal with it. That's going to have to be the way it is. That's the way life goes. Uh... This is number 90 from Don't Sweat the Small Stuff. One more passing show. This is a strategy. <laughs> this is a strategy that I have recently adopted into my own life. It's a subtle reminder that everything, the good and bad, pleasure and pain, approval and disapproval, Achievements and mistakes, fame and shame, all come and go. Everything has a beginning and an ending, and that's the way it's supposed to be. Every experience you have ever had is over. Every thought you've ever had started and finished. Every emotion and mood you've experienced has been replaced by another. You've been happy, sad, Jealous, depressed, angry, in love, shamed, proud, and every other conceivable human feeling. Where did they all go? The answer is no one really knows. All we know is that eventually everything disappears into nothingness. Welcome this, welcoming this truth into your life is the beginning of a liberating adventure. Our disappointment comes about in essentially two ways. When we're experiencing pleasure, we want it to last forever. It never does. When we're experiencing pain, we want it to go away now. It usually doesn't. Unhappiness is the result of struggling against the natural flow of experience. I like that. Unhappiness is the result of struggling against the natural flow of experience. It's enormously helpful to experiment with the awareness that life is just one thing after another. One present moment followed by another present moment. When something is happening that we enjoy, know that while it's wonderful to experience the happiness it brings, it will eventually be replaced by something else. A different type of moment. 
if that's okay with you, you'll feel peace even when, even when the moment changes. And if you're experiencing some type of pain or displeasure, know that this too shall pass. I say that all the time. Remember, your good days are going to pass and your bad days. So you take them both evenly. Or you have to, really. There ain't no choice about it if you're going to live. It's either you live or you just lay down and die and let it just trample all over you, isn't it? That's the way I look at it. Keeping this awareness close to your heart is a wonderful way to maintain your perspective, even in the face of adversity. It's not always easy, but it is usually helpful. Yes, I'd say that. I say that uh, definitely. Um, especially when we're going through uh, what we perceive as a difficult uh, time or, or event. <coughs> You know, we, when we're going through them times, it'll sometimes things will seem like it's taking longer to get through it. It'll sometimes feel like it's never going to end because we're not in that great a mood or about about what we're going through. But uh, if you can remember that that will pass mm -hmm. as well, because we know the good times are going to pass and we're going to like go through them quicker than we want to. Uh, comparatively to the uh, not so good times, but both pass, and the only thing we have is this moment. That's what I'm taking away from today's reading. Uh, a lot of this book has uh, made me think about the you know initially why my title was given, uh, you know, when it was like. Like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, I was at one point, Grey Cloud, the gift given scribe. And then, you know, back sometime last year, whenever it was, I can't really remember. Might have even been in 2022. I think it was. It's towards the end of 2022, and that's when the spirit uh, laid on my heart. You are to go by this now and not that. Uh, it was still Grey Cloud, but. Uh, when I'm meeting people out and about, I'm to say Mr. Cloud, and then my title is Sage of the Eternal Moment and not Gift Giving Scribe. Although I still am a gift giver, I still like to help people out and stuff. But uh, the difference is it's a new phase in my growth in life from being Jason for so many years to 2008 going into the woods, studying some background of my history of my of some magical background some spiritual background gain, gaining more depth of understanding about my the nature of god and the universe and uh transforming uh over a period of time into gray cloud and being told that that's who i would be and am and always have been rather than the name jason so you to you can take that for whatever it is uh, if you've ever, if you've been in a situation where you have come to understand yourself to be not what you were given as far as uh, name wise, I'm not going to get into all the uh, certain aspects of what you might think you weren't given or not given, because I believe myself, I chose, I, I agreed to come here and uh, I'm fulfilling out. So far, I'm fulfilling out what it is I'm here to do to the best of my human abilities. And uh, so nobody is holding a gun to my head on any of the bad choices I've made in my life. And uh, some of the stuff I continue to have uh, problems with where I continuously... You could call it backslide, you know, like I get a little bit ahead... And then I keep repeating certain things. and uh, But it's about progress for me. I hope I didn't get into a big, long tangent and confuse you about like my mission here on Earth and choosing to come here and all that. Uh, if you've watched the channel for any length of time, then you've heard me mention this several different times over the course of the past few years. Uh, from time to time, I talk about it. I don't share it often. 
because I'm not trying to get into uh, if someone first coming here, I don't need to be. If you're coming to a and I'm getting that far deep into a too quick or something about something and you don't know exactly what it's really about, then, uh, but I'm going to consider that would maybe mean be someone that's came across the channel that necessarily didn't need the channel at the time or wasn't resonating like on the same frequency level. You know what I mean? Like some things come into our lives at the right time, at the right moments. And that's the way it's set up. Some things leave our lives at the right time and the right moments, whether we know it or not to be the right moment or right time. And sometimes we question why things came in or why some things left. And that's including people. And that's what's been going on with me over the past few weeks. It's just thinking about why is some people pop back in and then all of a sudden disappeared on you. Um, but there was something I seen this morning about, uh, a friend of mine on Facebook had, that does a lot of his reels there. That's how they promote their him and his wife's uh, living sober. And he was playing a song to the him looking off some cliff or something and talking about when you don't understand something, rely on God, you know. And uh, I have to be reminded all the time that I don't have to understand every single thing that's going on in the world or even my own life. A lot of stuff is going on that I can't necessarily uh, understand at the moment, but usually after the fact, uh, that's why they say hindsight's twenty twenty. Once you get through that thick of it, usually you see on the, when, once you're on the other side of things, you see why things worked out the, the, the way they did whatever situation that is, but I'm going to get off here, man. I feel like, uh, I'm waiting. Uh, I'm going to check on ladybird, check on the puppies. I think they're all right. I'm not hearing them whine or nothing right now. But I got some, a little bit of cleaning to do. If I can muster up the energy, I'm not feeling that great this morning, but I, or this starting the day off. I wasn't feeling the greatest and that's why I ended up laying back down, but I had to deal with ladybird at the time and the puppy and get things situated. But I'm uh, waiting on the mail now. I got a couple things coming in the mail. And uh, okay, till next time, Mr. Gray Cloud says of the eternal moment. Over and out. Ditto.